If your propane powered gas grill won't start, here are some steps that can help you identify the situation and get you back to grilling. If you suspect that your grill might be leaking at the tank connection, please make sure that you have turned all of the burner control knobs on your grill to the off setting. Ensuring there is no flame present from the burners or possibly from any grease that may have accumulated in the cook box, bottom tray, or catch pan. And closing the tank valve completely before attempting to tighten the connection to the tank. At no point should you ever touch, tighten, or engage the connection of the regulator to the tank while the grill is lit, the flame is present, or the tank valve is open. Your first step should be to conduct a soapy water test, also known as a leak test. This will help you identify if there are any leaks at the regulator to tank connection. We recommend this anytime you connect a new tank. To perform a leak test, make sure all burners are in the off position. Attach the hose to the tank and apply a soapy water solution. Then turn on the tank valve. If bubbles form, then there is a leak. If you have a leak, do not use the grill. We recommend trying a new tank before proceeding further. If your grill shows no signs of bubbles, then it may be in safety mode, known as bypass mode. Turn the tank valve on and wait one full minute to let the gas line fully pressurize before lighting the grill. There's no need to disconnect the hose. Next, if you can light your grill manually, but not with your igniter, we recommend you confirm the battery is new and installed correctly. When you hit the igniter button, do you hear a rapid clicking noise? If not, remove your cooking grates and flavorizer bars. Then confirm that the igniter electrode is assembled correctly on top of the burner and not damaged. And that the burner is installed correctly and pushed all the way down into the burner bracket. Confirm the igniter electrode wire is inserted into the igniter module correctly and not damaged. Confirm that the igniter wires are connected to the back of the igniter button and inserted into the module correctly and not damaged. If everything looks good, let's try a new battery. If you still do not get a rapid clicking noise when you hit the igniter button, please contact Consumer Care as you will need a new igniter button and module. If any wire or electrode is damaged, just that part will need to be replaced. If that didn't resolve the issue, it's possible your burner tubes need to be cleaned due to scaling or grease buildup. Remove your grates and flavorizer bars and use a clean stainless steel brush. If your burner tubes look like these pure blue burners, you should brush across the portholes and not the length of the burner. If your grill has round burner tubes, you should brush up and down the length of the burner tube. We hope this helps, and if you have more questions, feel free to call us.